All right, what is the ideal passing score for the FRM part one or part two exams? Hi, my name is Jas and welcome to wordies.com. And today we are discussing about this topic, like what's the ideal passing score? Some people say 50 is decent enough to pass, let's say out of 100 questions, 50% is a decent uh, passing score. Some say 55% is a decent passing score. But in my opinion, uh, that's a very low benchmark. If you look at FRM exams, if you look at CFA exams, I think the decent benchmark that has been somewhere around 70% and, and that goes for both the exams. Although uh, the FRM or the GARP does not have uh, specific recommendations that okay, this is the fair or this is the passing, uh, uh, passing score or a benchmark, but rather I always suggest to all my candidates that keep a target of 70% right whenever you are solving chapter wise questions or rather you're solving mock exams, whatever that you're solving, make sure that you, you, you keep a target or a benchmark at least 70%, keep it high. That's, that's what the, the thought process is that you, if you keep the target high, you always aim to achieve higher and higher. That's, that's what it is. If you already have a very lower target, like let's say 50, 55, then on the exams, you would not give your more than 100%. And I think that's going to be a bit of a problem. So rather than that, keep your target high, whatever that you're doing in your mock exams or in your uh, chapter wise questions, make sure that you achieve that. Okay. If I, if you do not get more than 70% or rather not touching near about 70%, do not panic. Do not worry about that. It is absolutely okay. For some mock exams, you may score, let's say 60, 65, 70. For some, probably you may score near about 50 to 55. That's okay. That's absolutely okay. Remember one thing, on the actual day of your exams, so there are like 14 window period for part one exam. So every day the paper difficulty level will be different. For some, maybe we can say that, okay, yes, if the paper is difficult, then that means it's difficult for all. And in that situation, we can pretty much say that, okay, if you get somewhere about, you know, 55 or 60, that's pretty much a decent score to pass. But if the paper is easy, that means it's easy for almost everyone. So naturally, the, the passing benchmark would rise and then it's going to be a challenge to, you know, to, to get to that particular target. So whatever the situation is, the difficult, easier ones, whatever the situation is, I want you to keep a target of 70%. That's a decent benchmark across the FRM and CFA exams. And I would just follow that. And I would just recommend you the best practice for this particular thing. All right. So that's it, guys. And I'll see you in the next video with another topic. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thank you so much. Goodbye.